All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and record the second half. I'm going to record the second half. So we live, we recording, we live. <clears throat> YouTube has uh, interrupted my first. Oh, yeah, so I'm happy. I can just do the second half and we're all good. That's good. Let's see how the second half goes. Will we have more goals? Will we have more goals? Will Club uh, America end up getting on the score sheet? We shall see. Cassandra Cuevas hacia Eva González, Karen Luna, cortando el balón y tratando de ir al frente. El balón es interceptado por el equipo rojinegro. Ana Paz, vale, va largo, buscando al frente, muy bien. Yaneli Farías, una de las mejores jugadoras de las Águilas del la América del torneo pasado. Toda una muralla defensiva oh, wow. de las Águilas del la América. Natalia Cuña trata de alzar la pelota, el balón lo tiene el equipo del Atlas. Y recuerden, si quieren mandar saludos en la transmisión de YouTube. <laughs> I think I think what it was was um bullshit. That's what I call it. I think what it was was bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Desde el inicio del segundo tiempo, las Águilas del la América. Jocelyn Orejel de cabeza. Pelayo con la marca de dos rojinegras que salen con la pelota. Muy bien, el recorte de Karen Luna. Farías. Buscando Once again, Club America are in the yellow and Atlantis are in the, the, the red and black. And the goal was in the, in the, eighth, in the seventh minute, scored by number nine. It's your debate? It's your debate. It's your. It's like, it's your. De, it's your debate? I hope I'm saying your last name right. Alright. And Daniela had, I would say, the best opportunity to score. Um, she was just falling. I guess, she, I guess maybe she kind of timed it incorrectly, but she was falling. Um, and that was like one of those. It wasn't like a. I guess it was a sitter, but it was a great ball through. Um, it was a great ball through to her. And unfortunately, it did, what, didn't find the back of the net. And and a Club America are only losing because of a goalkeeping error. The goalkeeper had it in her gloves, and then uh, number nine kept gnawing at it, and it ended up. Uh, and that was it was it was a tough finish too. The angle that she had to like finish the ball at, angle, the angle she had to finish was tough. It wasn't like some easy like after she had got the ball from the goalkeeper. Um, it was a tough, it was a tough finish, but she did, she did it, she finished it, and um, they've been leading since. Ooh. But Club America, I feel, are very, very good defensively. I feel like they're very sound. Like I don't really see them get too stressed, um, too panicked, and. <laughs> I think it is battle of the midfield. Atlas. Muy bien, ha 
haciendo jugada de labor defensiva, pero proyectando al frente a Saldívar. All right. All the way through to Sarah. She has Ooh, good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. Yo, pa uh, Payo? Payo, ya? Payo, ya? Paleo. Ah, I think that's it's Paleo. She's been good. Number 27 for Club America. She's been really well. She's been getting, uh, <clears throat> and I think it was her cross to Danielle that has set her up. She's been had a good game. And sometimes the camera call, the camera guy switches from like um, the I don't know how they're doing it either side. So sometimes you'll see Club America go one way on one view, and then you'll see them going the other way because they're switching the they were switching the cameras uh, back and forth so the teams were of course flipping how they were attacking I'm not too sure if they'll do that um, too much this this half so just let you know it was kind of kind of confusing because I was tripping there are people in the stadiums as well so shout out to Mexico Al final Atlas trató de ir al frente y tuvo varios tiros de esquina que no se lograron concretar y ahora el América desde All right, Daniela's going to get here. De la segunda parte buscando Corner kick. el marco contrario. Daniela Espinosa logra un tiro de esquina y la afición se anima. <laughs> All right, let's see what they can do with this corner kick. Pretty far out. Centro de Casandra Cuevas, el balón queda ahí. Salida del equipo rojinegro. Ana Paz. Achuca la pelota y el balón sigue en juego. Verónica Pérez trata de mandar al frente, pero muy bien. Karen Luna. Saldívar ahora. Se va a aprovechar. Eh. La velocidad, ahora saca el centro de zurda. Buen rechace defensivo. Canel y Farías ahora buscando de ir al frente. Claudia Ibarra con la pelota de las más activas. Abre el balón. Sola del lado izquierdo a la marca Karen Luna. Se acerca la número mm. 9 al remate. La goleadora. She only had one player in the box. Y el balón se va a tiro de esquina. No solamente el equipo de América inició con cambios el segundo tiempo, sino también Atlas hizo un cambio. Alexa Curiel con el número 27 salió del terreno de juego <coughs> para que entre en su lugar Ana García con el número 28. Así que ya se mueven los dos equipos para generar más jugadas y más acción en esta segunda mitad. Y al parecer las Águilas del la América buscan un tercer cambio cuando viene el centro del Atlas. El remate okay. que se va por un lado, saque de meta. Así a lo lejos me parece que la Natalia Paulión, la número 17, podría entrar. Se pidió el cambio, pero rápidamente sí. mueve el balón el equipo del América. Ana Luber buscando colocar el balón. Mal despeje de Ana Paz y ahora sí, vamos a ver si viene el cambio. Oh, shit. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien.
Okay, we got some substitutions. I'm 27 for Paello. It is coming in. I mean, coming out. And then I can see who that player was. It's like number 17. Yeah, number 17 looks like she came in. Gran desgaste físico de Mayra Pelayo, de las mejores del partido, pero se necesita gente fresca para este segundo tiempo. El balón tiene el equipo de atrás. Muy bien, ahí Eva González. Eva González que estuvo en el once ideal del torneo pasado de toda la liga. Ahí presionar desde el inicio Natalia Maulión el balón ahora recuperado por el Atlas que tiene más confianza en esta segunda parte. Natalia Maulión en el primer balón que toca, tratando de ir al frente. Recuperación del Atlas y el balón muy largo. Saldívar en el saque de manos. Rápidamente con Jocelyn Orejel, más atrás con Natalia Cuña. Y recuerden, si quieren mandar saludos, es el momento de que lo pongan en los comentarios de nuestro canal oficial de YouTube, el único canal de fútbol mexicano con más de un millón de suscriptores. La afición más grande de México que se haga presente en este partido right, cuando viene... She Is she the one that came on, or is it 17? It might have been number... Dang, I wish I had seen it more. Yeah, I all think that um, the English League have the should have the balls set up around the field, just like they do. Instead of having to rely on the little girls and little boys to get the ball. They'd be playing games too, it'd be, fun. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be upsetting, but it'd be funny, but it'd be upsetting at the same time. So you think they should start putting the uh, the footballs outside, um, a little bit around the around the football field. Make the game continue to go, flow quicker. I think it's beneficial. I don't think it hurts. Because they just have little cones, they, all they have is little cones set up. That's all they have. Por un gol contra el equipo de atrás, buscando ahora a Saldívar. Alza la pelota, pero el balón se va muy largo. Y es saque de meta para el equipo del Atlas. Y bueno, Fer ya nos mandó saludos. Vamos con Carlos Argum de Denver, Colorado. Saludos hasta Estados Unidos. A Carly Vázquez de Nuevo León, Laredo de Tamaulipas. Perdón, de Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas. A Moisés Jiménez de la Ciudad de México. A Marco Hernández de Chiapas. Saludos para Salvador Quiroz, que está en Durango. Y desde Washington para Kevin y Mario Alburquerque de nice. Nuevo México. Carlos I almost get out of that double team. I think if, if Club America can find Sarah, she's been very... Uh... What's going on? I was throwing. I think Sarah, Daniela, you know, uh, I think those are some of the. Uh, well, they scored both goals. Those are the two players that scored. And they're the two players I'm, well, I'm more familiar with um, for Club America. Uh, and I think if they find those two players, I think they'll be on their way. 1v1 again? She get, ooh, good goalkeeping. Good goalkeeping. Ooh, pass. What a big save. 
Dang, again, I just was just talking about the girl. Wow. Again, Club America's opportunity. Better goalkeeping. Oh my goodness, Atlantis here. Ooh, oh. Yo, that could have been 2-0 like there. Good save. I'm gonna... <laughs> Yo, that was end to end. Both teams had... Oh, a red card? A red card? <laughs> a red card has been given, yeah? Y'all saw that red? Wow, Karen Luna, she's going off. She got red carded. I wasn't expecting that. I'm trying to figure out what she did. So, oh. Red card. It's going to be tough. She got a red card in the 67th minute? 60. She going to miss next game. Unfortunately. But Club America are playing with 10 ladies. Is so we have to fix their playing? Now there's... Listen, you're up 1-0. Trust me, I've seen many times Houston have lost matches where they're up player and shit like that. It's, fu it's fucked up how it happens. But... Atlantis, they're up 1-0 now. There should be no reason. I mean, they've been up 1-0. Ooh. But they have an extra player now. And that's that's so awesome. And it's crazy how teams, like, fuck that up. But it happens, right? Um, but with th less than 30 minutes left, Atlantis should be able to finish this game strong. Um, and not give uh, Club America any opportunities. You know they're going to fight. Because it's the first match. Uh, so if they do end up getting a goal back, um, you know, I'm going to be impressed. But Atlanta should not give up. Shouldn't give them that opportunity because they have more numbers. She gets past her. 27. Oh. 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 <laughs> you heard. Oh, boy. This is not what they needed. A penalty fail? She fell. She fell. It's a penalty. Wow. She fell. And the referee. Was she, we, are we going to get a replay of this? Because we've been getting replays of some things. But she's saying she was already kind of on the ground. And she could have said she intentionally kind of tripped her up again. But this is exactly what Club America needed. A penalty right here. That's so unfortunate. Right after the red card. It could be karma, right? It could be like karma. Like cause and effect. The red card was actually unwarranted. Now they have a penalty. Maybe the referees haven't been like, you know, I really fucked up. I shouldn't have given her a red. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Now pass. And a yellow card even helped the goalkeeper. Number six. Paris. She's going to take this penalty kick for Club America. So we got a penalty. Okay, let me see. Do you think she'll go left or right? She's kind of positioning like she would go right. Where she's, where she's set up. She didn't take too many steps back. She's going to straight shoot her. A couple steps. I think... Mm, I think she'll go right. But like top. Like, well, it's going to be a lot of power. And Paz is pretty big in the goal. Keep. She looks pretty big in the goal. In the, in the, in the goal. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, she missed it. She missed. Damn. The penalty missed. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. She missed the penalty. That was that Club America opportunity. This wow, bro. This is wow, bro. I did not expect that. I thought she was going to make that home. 
That's that's like a that's a double punch for Club America right there. I got red carded, you got the penalty, and you missed though. Oh my god. That's why. That's that's wild right there. That's wild. It may get a little chippy. Yeah, well, I don't know. It may, may not be get a little chippy. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> All right. A lot of space for her. And it. Tratando de ir al frente, buscando a Camberos que entró muy bien. Se le ve activa, es fuerte y veloz. Y ya logró que marcaran un pelo. También ya tuvo una buena oportunidad. Daniela Espinosa quedó de frente y el América no ha corrido con suerte para empatar este partido. Joselino de que va a largo, recupera la pelota Ana Paz. Trata de aventar al frente a su equipo que se encuentra arriba. 68 minutes now. Difícil inicio para las Águilas del la América, que generaron y que siguen generando mucha expectativa después de los refuerzos que ha tenido Atlas con la pelota. Tratan de ir al frente. El balón sale a cuña. Muy bien, atenta la jugadora americanista. Que recibe la fuerte presión de Karen García. Y el apoyo en la tribuna es fuerte. A pesar del fuerte frío que se siente en la tribuna del Coloso de Santa Úrsula. Se viene el cambio del equipo rojinegro. Oh, right, she has to go off that side. It's the substitution. She's making her go off to the closer side. <laughs> she don't want to waste no time. Sale la número 11, Claudia Ibarra. Y entra. All right, number 24, then. Con el 24, Valeria Arraso. 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 I'm not too sure she came out full because oh, here's Daniela here. She has two runners in the box. She's had a couple opportunities to score. Over everyone though. Todo ese trajín, pues también cansa. Playing with three players, and honestly, if you're Atlantis, are you are you are you gonna press uh, Club America? Are you gonna press them with the extra player? Va con Saldívar. Saldívar trata de sacar el centro fácil a las manos de la arquera rojinegra. Minuto 70. Le restan 20 minutos más lo que agregue la árbitra a este primer partido de Clausura 2022. Ya se 
Sandra Cuevas tratando de dar la vuelta. El balón queda ahí. No logra hacer jugada. Rápidamente regresa la número 8. Y parecía que recibía falta, pero la árbitra marca lo contrario. Falta en contra de las Águilas del la América. Inscríbete a Nido Águila Oficial y entrena desde el Nido. Para más información, escribe Nido Águila Cuapa, arroba clubamérica.com.mx. Yo ya escribí, no sé tú, Arturo. En unos momentos más, pues seguiremos dando saludos. Esperemos si el América en estos últimos 20 minutos logre ir más al frente, a pesar de que. Tiene a una jugadora menos y aquí falta a favor del equipo visitante. Mm. They're slowing the game down. Atlantis. Se toman todo el tiempo del mundo las jugadoras rojinegras. Buscando ir al frente, buscando el remate, ampliar la ventaja, va largo, atento uh. a la izquierda, pero el balón se va Bro. a la esquina. <risa> She almost gave them another, them another goal. That was so close. Pero That would have been a dagger. Del tiro de esquina. That would have been a dagger. She gotta wake up, step out of it. No pudo estar el día de hoy con las águilas, pero su hermana, el equipo rojinegro, y como capitana del equipo. And that's why I feel like Atlanta should, should test her more, like, you know, long kicks, uh, long shots, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if she's already done it once and we just saw it the second time, that's what just popped in my head. Like, you need to be taking long, you know, long shots at her, because she may. All right, we got a counterattack. Sarah Luber, she got. She got to turn around. She got some players open. Make sure they're on sides. Here they are. Sarah's free. Ooh, good tackle. Oh, man. Good tackle. Got a player down, number 28. Relantis. Garcia. I think she came on as well as a sub. Uh, uh, oh wow! Yo, how how did Club America have all those numbers? Like they had, it was like almost two v three. Like how are you a, a player up, but you're like where is your defense, Atlantis? I'm just saying that was crazy. Luckily there was a, a, a slide tackle, but man, Atlantis they, they slip it. Like, they they gonna allow Club America to creep in here uh, because that was a good opportunity right there. Wow. We're going good. All right. Oh, she, gets, she has to get stretched at all? Damn, speedy recovery. He just got onto the game. Look, I mean, I mean, she came on as a substitute. She wasn't in the starting lineup. Hopefully she's um all right. It's the beginning of the their se new season, you know what I'm saying? So we're here with the final 15. Man, we've had, I feel like we've, we've seen a really, really interesting game uh, here today. Melissa Girón en Texas, a la familia Palomar en Nuevo León, a Sebastián Medina en la Ciudad de México, a Jenny desde Texas. 15, plus some, some stoppage time. 
Saludos a la enfermera Jessica, el Águila Mayor. Cuando aquí viene el Atlas, pero muy bien Saldívar que recibe el jalón. Wow. Y balón para las Águilas del la América. Lances no really need to foul anybody. Honestly. Saludos a la familia Quintero, de escondido de California. Saludos a Aitor desde Ciudad de México. Y saludos al equipo femenil. Así se llaman las nenas locas de Jutepec, Morelos. Yo creo que ese equipo pensé que era de Fernanda Andrade e Ingrid Garibay, pero no. Son de Jutepec, Morelos. A Gustavo Mendoza de Lázaro Cárdenas, Michoacán. Y Good ball out wide from the center back. En el área se le mueve Daniel Espinosa. Oh, oh, there's a goal. Number 17, that was a great ball out wide uh, from the center back. Number 17, this is the substitution. This is Sarah Lubert. Uh, what is, I don't, I'm not too sure what her name is. But great assist, great ball over the top, we saw it. And that's what I was saying, like, would it been in, in benefit for Atlantis to press, to press uh, America? Because they would have players in front of their faces and they would be all covered, you know? Unfortunately, just a little bit too late. And Club America have a goal now. Assist. So it's 1-1. One, one. She had a lot of space on the uh on the right there. All right, 78 minutes. I'm really happy that this worked out very nicely. Difícil inicio de torneo, pero las Águilas están logrando rescatar el empate. Eva González hacia atrás con Acuña. Que busca a Monse Saldívar. Que es hábil, que logra sacar el pase, pero no hacia Camberos. Mauleón. Janely Farías. Sarah Luber. La consentida de la afición. Man, and just imagine if they had made that penalty. Here's Atlantis. Good opportunity. Ooh, almost. She, had to, she did have a runner far post. Man. They're crossing. Um, for, I would say the crossing for both teams hasn't been like the best. It's been either over, over, overpowered. You know, or just not accurate. Unfortunately, but I can understand. Everyone had a break. You know, everyone's had breaks, and in the first game back after the break, everyone is you know a little bit rusty. It just it's just how it is, right? It, you got to give back. It's like, all right, you know, get back into the to formula, to gear. You know what I mean? Get back to your regular schedule, routine, and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> You have a long, you know, a long season ahead of you. Uh, so... And that's the thing with certainly, when you watch certain, well, just... I can't tell like who who's gonna win. Like you know what I'm saying. I couldn't really tell like who was gonna win. Okay, we got a substitution. Number 17 for number 21. The goal scorer is coming out for number 21. 
And I'm not too sure. I thought that number 17 actually was... She didn't... I thought she didn't start, so it was like she got subbed too, but... Um... Okay, I think it was number 19 then. Ooh, good shot, good shot. For number 24. gets faster and I mean Club America play like they're not missing a player they've doing they've adapted really well I think it's because Atlanta is good 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 pressure there she, she got brought down oh got a corner man that was close right there she I think she had some runners outside the penalty box dang that was a good that was a good opportunity for a pro America right there. like jeez I think Sarah should have took a shot she was free she has some space All right, corner pick. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. wow. How did that not go in? How did she not finish that? Did that, that touch? Her touch? I think it killed her. That touch she took, it was like too much. That was so smart. Atlantis, what was going on with y'all? Y'all were under pressure. Y'all look like I'm about to get scored on. Like. Another um, 
Another player being uh, chartered off. Damn, it's the first game? Players are getting kind of getting hurt already. It's unfortunate. Move the soccer ball. Can't get everyone off the field. Man, we gonna have some stoppage time. That's for sure. Un penal fallado por Janely Farías. Alguna otra jugada como Sara Luber. La verdad es que América, si hubiera tenido más claridad, debería ir ganando el partido, pero. Oh, hay Daniel here. Daniel Espinosa, buscando Sara Luber. Nice, finds her. Nice. Gets past one. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, that was nice moves. That was nice moves. Pero hay que reconocer a las Águilas del América que con una jugadora menos se han visto mejor tratando de buscar la victoria. Y se vienen dos cambios del equipo del Atlas. Entramos al minuto. Got some more subs. Number nine. Goal score for number 16. Martinez. Number 13, number 23, Neymar, or 23, or who? Did I say 23? I don't have a 23 written down. Oh, I did, I did have some. I did have a duplicate number 19, so probably one of those players. Oh, yeah, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, that's her. Number 23, then. All right, Anna. Difícil pasar. Ahora viene el equipo del Atlas que pisa el balón. Verónica Pérez. Retrasa la pelota. Aquí ya está patada. Me está dando el grito. Garibay. Yo no tengo la pelota. At least four minutes. Ganando el América. El balón es del Atlas. Vamos a ver. Está sola. Oh. Oh. Bro. 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 Bro, how did they not score in this? This is crazy. How did they not score? How? How did they not score? How? How did they not score any of that possession? Oh my God! Club America really got a lifeline here. They got like magical powers on the pitch. This is maybe not. I don't know if this is their home, but oh my goodness, this is wild. Yo, they had Atlantis had two opportunities to score. And missed both opportunities right there. Both teams have been just, you know, not 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 finishing their chances when they create them. Um, not too sure. We should have a lot of minutes. What did it say? Six minutes? I can't tell. Man, he, the the game then moved. It looked like maybe six minutes. I'll stop his time. It looked like it. It looked like that's what it said, but I couldn't tell. Okay. Sarah again. First, early ball in. Looking for Daniela. Can we find her? Choca contra la defensora del Atlas. El balón ahora es rojinegro. Se vienen unos últimos minutos 
muy emocionantes en la cancha del Estadio Azteca, como ha sido costumbre en el equipo de la América Femenil, buscando siempre la victoria hasta el último segundo. Saldívar de cabeza, el rebote, le cae nuevamente Camberos, Scarlett. Buscando meterle velocidad. Will there be any more opportunities for Club America? La número 24, la gente se anima. En el centro tiene a tres jugadoras. Viene el remate. Más bien llega el rechace. Y en la tribuna hay más suspiros que el 14 de febrero. Porque la gente busca que llegue el gol de la victoria. El balón se va a saque de meta. Se van los primeros minutos de reposición. Mmm, I'm trying to figure out who I give player of the match to. Alexandra Godínez. La número 21. I think I'm going to give it to uh, Recordemos que América tiene una jugadora de menos. I'm going to give it to uh, the goal scorer. Uh it, it, it's it's a bird. It's it's bird. It's bird. Number 9 and I'll give it to Sarah. So both teams got uh, a play woman a woman of the match because I mean it is 1-1. One, one. No one won, so, I mean, well, I don't think anyone's going to win. I think it's going to be a draw. So, I'm giving it to both players. Uh, he, the goal scorer for Atlantis, she had a lot of work to do to get, to actually fight for that ball right there from the goalkeeper that, you know, they gave it away. And then Sarah assisted on the goal. And she had been really active. And Daniela too as well. And Daniela had a lot of opportunities to score. So did Sarah. But Sarah ended up getting the assist. So I'm going to give it to her. So we've already had three minutes to stop time. So we'll see how much more we have. I wasn't too sure. I think it said six, but it might be like four or something. There was two players carted off. We had a penalty. We had a red card. Man. This was a... Uh, this is the, the first... This is the tenth match. Buen partido. Difícil inicio para la América, pero logran sacar el empate. This is the thirteenth. Alza la pelota. Buscando. Yes, it is. El balón es rechazado. No, no. But. La pelota es del Atlas. En las últimas jugadas del partido, Verónica Pérez se quita a Saldívar. Yeah, we said we've had four minutes now. Stop the start. Scarlett Camberos. Ahora Eva González. Sara Luber con la pelota. Trata oh, de right. velocidad. So here go down. Referee look. Okay, we got a free kick here. Last, I think, yeah, last free kick, maybe. Maybe. Uh, final, final uh, minute of the stoppage time. Tiempo agregado. Podría ser la última jugada del partido. América con más llegada que Atlas, con más oportunidades, buscando siempre ganar el partido. Va a tener una última oportunidad al cobro. Eva González voltea a la banca a ver cuál es la instrucción. Saldívar también 
Cerca del balón. Todo el Atlas defiende. Se viene la última jugada del partido. Parece que será Saldívar la que hará el cobro. La arquera está atenta. Right, Se cumplen los seis minutos. Viene el centro. Ooh. El remate que no llega. No one there. Rechaza del equipo del Atlas. And that's it. That's the game. The final. I was like, what the fuck am I saying? I was like, that's the final. 1-1. One, one. Atlantis won. Club America won. They ended up uh, getting that goal in the... Uh, what? I didn't even put what minute they scored the goal in. It's kind of frustrating. It was after the 60 I think it was like the 75th minute. Fucking A. Can't believe I didn't write when they scored. But um it was a very interesting match. Okay, very interesting match. I couldn't really call it. I couldn't really uh both teams had good opportunities to win the game, to put the games away. So it was really difficult to call. And uh, you know, but that's that's what that's that's great football, honestly. We don't know who's gonna win, like when we're just like there's not a dominant team, you know what I mean? I mean for me, depending on what type of football you like, I, I we we see it all. We see teams that dominate the whole matches, the other team doesn't get a snap. We see teams that may get dominated the whole match, but they end up winning. And then we get to see teams that actually they fight each other and it's a balance. And so that's just football, that's just it just it is what it is so this match was like one of those matches like both teams were fighting each other we didn't know who's gonna win and it ended up in a draw um but clearly both sides had opportunities to score clearly uh to win the games <clears throat> i think club america a little bit more and honestly atlanta is right at the end too but it was it was a good game um and this is the mexican league so if you don't tune into the mexican league i mean you slip in i feel like i've watched um Almost all, I mean, the leagues I can, I, I try, I pretty much watch them all around the world. And I feel like there's players and stars to get to know um, all over the world. And it's really good for me as an experience to be able to tune into teams that I, I haven't got to tune into. Because you just never know who you might see um, on the field. And you never know who might show up on your team. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? But um, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to Anita's Joint, hashtag Send a Joint, where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. We're flying out of this third dimensional reality. And thanks for everyone that's watching on Twitch. And thank you for everyone that happened to watch on YouTube, but it was the stream was blocked. And I will the should have the recording up a little bit later on the second half, and everything works out. But yeah, I want to thank you all for, you know, just enjoying football with me. Uh, I enjoy watching football. I enjoy just... Uh, the game just to watch it and to just experience it and um, yeah it makes me happy so anyways with that being said remember to follow your individuality your individuality is your spirituality your spirituality is your individuality no one can tell you how to be an individual more than yourself so with that being said thank y'all once again <coughs>